All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Wahaba Kakodash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity from ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching in the name of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. It is the brother Gabar Yahweh from GMS Hawaii coming to you with another lesson. And this lesson is um, on this article or a few articles that you see in front of you about this particular woman. Her name is uh, Simone Saunders. And uh, this is from yesterday. And you, uh, she, it says she was hurt at being passed over for press secretary. All right. And when you go into it, it says how this woman basically threw her life <laughs> in front of, uh, threw her life up for Joe Biden's life at a uh, at a rally. It was being, uh, you know, it could have been staged, could have been real, but it says Simone Sanders, senior advisor to the vice president Harris, was reportedly hurt after being passed over for the White House press secretary job. According to a wide ranging Washington Post feature on uh, Sanders and her fiance, DC director of culture and nightlife, Sean Townsend, uh, blah, 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 blah. It says uh, Biden ultimately chose former Obama communications director Jen Psaki for the press secretary job. Sanders worked for the presidential campaign of Senator um, Bernie Sanders in 2016 before becoming advisor to President Biden in 2020. Towson echoed Seller's sentiments to, uh, saying that she was definitely hopeful that she would have that opportunity. Seller said Sanders spent a lot of capital uh, as senior advisor to Biden and frequently asked to defend the candidate when the campaign had a problem with black community, you know, and that shows you that the woman, you know, she's she's not our people. She's not for us. Our, our women are for this devil. They're for Esau, eat them, okay? And they don't have, um, she don't have a real uh, heart for her own people, man, you know? And that she'll just, you know, she'll stick up for Esau, eat them, even though this man's the devil, you know? She'll even risk her life for it. And uh, um, that's what I wanted to get to. It says, uh, uh, right here, this is the video where basically she put her life on a line for this devil. And guess what, man? He he didn't use her for the position that she wanted. I mean, she's still up there. This is her right here. She's still in that in the White House, you know. But she ain't gonna be the the press secretary for this devil. But she thought that doing what she's what she about to see was gonna help catapult her in there. And he he ultimately said no. Let's see let's see who the person he did to. Um, Salakio. Yeah, this chick right here is Edomite. <laughs> and she ain't put her life up for this devil. She didn't um she didn't put her life up for this devil. You know? They chose this devil, this demon right here. But the black woman thought she was gonna get it. And then she got hurt when she found out that um she got passed over for it, man. And so this is uh this the video right here. That's the video right here. Look at, look, she jumped on the stage. She like a, like, she's like a linebacker, man. Which well, this is all stage anyway. Cause this guy got security for that. But the, hey, the nigga woman is, uh, the nigga woman is his security. Look, look, she risking her life. And he's supposed to have, he, first of all, he's a vice president. So secret service is supposed to be around this. This should never happen. This was all set up anyway. But the point of the matter is she thought that by doing this or playing an active role in this charade that she would get a, 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 a opportunity to, to speak for this devil as a press secretary. And then she ended up being uh, uh, slighted. And then she hurt. Now she's all in her feelings. You know, it says Simone Sanders tackled a protester to save Biden and still didn't get the press uh, job. See, and that's what you jakes are doing. This is this is symbolic of what our people here in America is doing. They'll put themselves in a position to, they'll sacrifice their life and anybody else's life for this devil, man, to seek what? A position in a society. This is the book of Isaiah to the 30, verse uh, one. It says, because uh, Esau, Edom, you're the new, you're the new Egyptian, man. You're the new Pharaoh. It says, woe to a rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin. And that's what they do when they, amongst this devil, you know, they're doing nothing but adding sin to sin, man. You know, you could just look at simple things that this woman do. She's shaving her head, bald, 
you know, look like a whole man, you know, sacrifice our life for this devil and, uh, and, and doing all manners of wickedness, eating all abominations to be in this man's cabinet. All right. So it says, uh, when they do this, why? Because they add sin upon sin. It says that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked of my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And she clearly trusts in the shadow of Egypt. Okay. Like I said, so much so that this demon was willing to put her life in jeopardy <laughs> to keep people from around the president. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this dude has 24 around the clock, 24 seven around the clock security and a, and a, and a, in the form of this uh, secret service, because he was uh, he was a vice president. So even while he was on his campaign, he had secret service, and you notice that none of them hopped up to save her, but the nigga woman did, and she not even secret service. You see, so it says, uh, but they they trust in the shadow of Egypt. Verse three: Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. And that's what's happening. She trusted in the shadow of Egypt and she got slighted. She got, she got cut off, man. You know, there's no telling what she did in the background besides tackle a protester, you know, to, uh, to, uh, to garner this position in, in Washington, you know, cause you, you basically got to be squeaky clean. <laughs> and, and, and she rushing that old girl and shit. She, and she had that bald head back then too, man. You know, she ain't secret service. She ain't trained for that, you know, but she risked her life to get that job. It says Simone Sanders tackled by tackle the protester to say Biden still didn't get the press secretary gig. She's got a right to be upset. And she don't, man, because this devil, you you simple women, you trust in the in, in Esau Edom. And you trust in the shame, I mean in the shadow of Egypt. And that's why it's your confusion when you don't get those positions, when you don't get those roles, when you don't get that those accolades, hey. Uh, 41 4 that's black that y'all about shimel shot when you don't get those uh uh that position in this society you get mad you can't believe that you got cut off or you can't believe that something like this would happen to you man but that's what you get for trusting in esau edom and every time you trust in this devil you're gonna get a letdown therefore again verse three therefore shall the strength of pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of egypt your confusion for his for his princes were at Zoan, and his ambassadors came to Hanaz. It says they were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor a people, nor be in the helps like you. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be in the help, nor profit, but a shame and also a reproach because this devil Esau Edom, he can't save you. He can't help you. I don't care what kind of science, kind of math, what kind of Whatever he brings up, he can't save you from the wrath to come. He can't save you out of your out of the curses. He don't want to save you out of your curses. He want to keep you there. Okay. He want to put you. He want to keep you down. But two thirds of Israel, you don't you don't recognize that. You don't see that that these people can't profit you. But that's what you get for trusting in the devil. This is a Sirach chapter ten verse. Um, in 12 verse 10, never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. And the Negro woman, Latino and Native American woman, you can't see that this man is your enemy. You can't even see that this whole world is your enemy. You can't see that. You can't see that this whole world is enmity with the most high. You know, you can't, you can't be left with, you can't be, you can't left with, can't be left with the realization of the, of the wickedness of this world. And the majority of the women on this planet you don't find this world wicked. You think you got a place in this world. Eventually, them dice going to roll and you're going to hit seven. Because you've been crapping out all this time. And you think that eventually your time is going to come. And it's not. It's Why? Because the, the enemy is ruling. It says, though he humble himself and go a crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. And that's what Esau has done. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. So the Lord telling you, don't let this man sit at your right hand. Don't let him be around you. Because all he can think about is taking your, your place, man. Lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at last remember my words, and be prickled, pricked therewith. 
who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any of such as come nigh a wild beast, right? So nobody's going to pity you when you get bit by this devil. Nobody's going to pity you when uh, things don't work out for you. Because this man, he only using you for his gain. He not using you for your gain. She thought, oh, I tackled this. Uh, he should surely think about me. I tackled the protester for him. I did this. I did that. But guess what? He just using you, man. He and he using a Negro woman for that. He used you there for the uh, for that campaign to get you to speak on the behalf of so called black people, which you you don't. That's not even your role. But yet, this is what you do, man. A couple of you niggas make it, and then all of a sudden, uh, uh, now everything is everything is fine, man. But you don't tell the people how you garnered that success. You run around here talking about this black love shit, which black means nothing but death. So you're speaking on behalf of dead people when you say you speak on behalf of black people. Simone Sanders, senior advisor to the vice president, Harris put her reputation and her life on the line trying to propel then candidate Joe Biden into the White House. So it, so the least he could have done was throw her throw her the White House press secretary job. Why? So you can speak on behalf of this man, usurp authority over the man. That ain't your role. You a mammy. And niggas have been putting themselves on the line for Esau since this place was inception, uh, uh, conceptualized. And conceptualized, so like it. Conceptualized, man. Since it was started. And you still ain't wake up to the understanding that, hey, that this man is your enemy. Even when he had you in chattel slavery, this is Sirach chapter thirteen, verse uh, five. If thou have, as a matter of fact, I'll say that for. If thou be for his prophet, he will use thee. <laughs> That's right, and he used her. She was for his prophet, even though he was already going to be the president anyway. It was all set up, you know. He was. It wasn't like he was not going to be it, but nonetheless, you Jakes, you don't understand that. You don't understand the, you know. The, the the workings behind the scenes, man. Even for the fact that this devil is 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 his, is his mouthpiece. <laughs> the Edomite woman is his mouthpiece, man. Jim Psaki says uh the quiet part out loud about Joe Biden. She defends the White House quote of approval of rule for reporters grow frustrated, blah 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 blah. Yeah, and she again she didn't have to risk her life, her reputation, her her limb to get that position, but that's what Jake got to do in this society. So again, it says, verse 4, so rock 13 and 4, if thou be for his prophet, he will use thee, but if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee, right? So if she, at one point, she was for his prophet, so he gave, they gave her that position with uh, Vice President Harris, that wasn't enough for her. She ain't see them throwing on that bone, she wanted to get more, man, she wanted to be on TV, she wanted that attention, she wanted to be heard, and that's all it is, man. You you women, you garner attention. You want to be heard. You want something, to, another accolade to speak on. Oh, I was I worked in the White House. Oh, I was a press secretary. And you niggas, that's the height of your life, man. Not realizing that you just doing nothing but speaking lies of the devil, man. So again, it says, if thou be for his prophet, he will use thee. You know what I'm saying? And he used her as a battering ram. <laughs> he used this nigga woman as a battering ram. Look at this shit. That bitch, she made it across. She ran a 4-4 across that stage, man. She ran a 4-4 across the stage. Look at it. Hop on the stage and everything. Fat as fuck. Trying to tackle somebody, man. Doing the most, man. Look at that shit, man. Look at this shit. Look. I'm trying to see where she started at. Yeah, she right here. Yeah. She darted. She ran back and darted over there at the risk of her life. All for nothing. So again, if he be for his prophet, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. If thou have anything, he will live with thee. Yeah, he will make thee bare. And will not be sorry for it. That's, that's Esau to now. You see what he did to Gad. He lived with Gad and he, he made him bare and he ain't sorry for it, man. They, they speak about America like the issues, the people, the, the deaths, the millions of deaths, the millions of deaths were displaced and destroyed, uh, put into slavery. Like that's, that's nothing to him, man. You know? 
and, and he don't feel sorry for it. And that's how you know that this man is the devil. That's, this man is Esau Edom, the devil, the great deceiver. That's what the word devil means, a deceiver. Okay? If he have need for, of thee, he will deceive thee, smile upon thee, and put thee in hope. Yeah, he did that to her. He will speak fair and say, what, what, what is thou? And he will shame thee by his meats until he have drawn thee, drawn thee dry twice or thrice. And at the last, he will laugh thee to scorn. Afterwards, when he see of thee, he will forsake thee and shake his head at thee. And that's what he's doing to this demon. That's exactly what he's doing to her. Okay? And she's just an example of, of two-thirds of Jake, man. You in that same mindset, man. You got niggas out here trying to get you to get the jab. They get, they're trying to get you to believe in this system. They're trying to get you to have hope in this place, man. Like America is the great peacekeeper of Earth, you know? And the government is a chief government that brings love and peace. And nah, man, you out of your mind, man. And he he drowned, he and, and she just got her nigga wake up call, man. They didn't want no bald headed Negro uh uh woman, color so called colored Negro woman, big hand demon, big ass shoulders, built like a linebacker on TV, man. Speaking for that devil, man. They rather a petite, plain Jane, Edomite devil. You know what I said? That's what they wanted. And you Jake couldn't see that. You just knew. She just knew. She probably walked around talking shit. You know, looking down on other people. And what Esau doing? He laughing at you, man. He laughing at you. Hey man, that bitch, she moved like a she moved like a linebacker, man. For a sack. You know? Laughing at you and shit. He he protected his wife. He didn't protect that demon in a in a goddamn pantsuit. He didn't do that. And that's how you that's you woman, you get you get tricked by this devil every time. It says uh first Timothy two and thirteen, for Adam was first formed. Then Eve and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. And you, the women, you, you're, you, the one that are in, are in transgression, because you're deceived by this world. All of you, every last one of you, man, you're deceived by this world, man. You don't want to leave this place. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want order. You don't want righteousness, because because you fell for the scheme, Micah seven and ten, and this is why you're the enemy. Uh, Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said, Where is the Lord thy God? And mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the street. And that's what's going to end up happening to you. You're going to be trodden down in the streets, man. You fell for the scheme. You believed in the system. And now look at you. And you mad. You hurt. You upset. Well, you're going to be more than that when you see all hell break loose and you're left out in the cold, man. Uh, Jeremiah 2 and 14, is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled, man? Why? Why? And she ain't the only one. You got this picture from like back in the day in the 90s or some shit. Hey, the black woman over here protecting this uh, Edomite, man. Okay? Uh, a rally went on and this dude was dressed as a, a, a devil. You know, how he hate niggas and all this other shit. You know? And she saved this nigga from getting beat to shit, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, ain't gonna be no Negro, so-called Negro woman jumping in the way of your eat you eat my judgment. You just gonna get it. You just gonna get the judgment, man. Cause the nigga woman been keeping propping this devil up forever, man. Man, your time is coming to an end. So with that, hey, shout out.